We're getting some more details about the man who's been described as Matt Gates's wingman. That would be um, former Florida elected official and businessman Joel Greenberg. He's the one that the feds started to investigate for his uh, activities with regards to women, underage, and otherwise. And that led them to Gates. He's now also reportedly cooperating um, with investigators with regards to whatever was going on with Matt Gates. So here's the details as we know them about Greenberg's Venmo payments. Um, they found 150 payments going to dozens of different women. The memo fields are quite interesting. Yeah, these are amazing. So, Food. Um, yeah, so here's a quote from the piece. An examination of Greenberg's Venmo transaction showed dozens of suspicious and curiously titled payments, some were as simple as ass, or a lipstick kiss mark emoji. Classy. Others were more opaque, such as stuff mm -hmm. and other stuff. According to three people with knowledge of the relationship, Gates was among the men who tapped Greenberg to access a large network of young women. Three payments in the review documents in the amounts of $500, $500, and $250 were designated for ice cream. Five other payments were for salad, one of which topped $1,000. There was also a payment... Um, from Matt Gates again, all this is on Venmo and public. This is amazing. Yeah, what are you guys doing? <laughs> um, that was for three hundred dollars with the love hotel emoji, which mm. I actually didn't even know there was a love hotel emoji. You learn something new every day. That was what was in the memo field. Right. So I think the that's big, the latest. The big one to me was that one, Greenberg was making Venmo payments to a girl who was seventeen years old at the time that it was sent, and that was three hundred dollars for food, and that was the exact same girl, according here to the Daily Beast, that Gates later Venmoed Greenberg to hit up blank, using the nickname for the girl who was a teen. She was 18 years old at that time, but it would at least back up the idea that Mr. Greenberg did have associates who were underage at the time that he was paying them allegedly, all allegedly, for sex. So I don't know if this is the girl who is at the center of the inquiry who was 17 years old, transported across state lines allegedly by Mr. Gates or his associates or whomever, but it would at least back up the idea that they were cavorting with very young women, including Greenberg at the very least, with somebody who was young and continued that association later on to the extent where Gates even paid paid Greenberg in order to hit up so-and-so. So all of this is just ex extremely skeevy, um, and it just demonstrates that Gates was living quite a lifestyle here for the last couple of years, out, pretty outwardly, actually. Like, it's kind of surprising to me that all of it was so much in the open in terms of the Venmo transactions That's what's, and yeah, more. totally. Those like you said, with these ridiculous, like, payment, $500 for food. $1,000 for salad. Greenberg said it was for school. I, I, that's, uh, a, that's something, uh, I don't even know what to say about that one. I mean, look, yeah. I'm not trying to be, like, a, a moral Puritan here. I personally think sex work should be decriminalized. I think drug use should be decriminalized. Um, but there's an interesting story here about just pay really close attention to the people who actually know Gates. Yeah. And what they're doing and saying, which is basically nothing. I mean, they're just completely staying silent and staying out of it. And look, this is a guy who was really nasty to a lot of people, mm -hmm. regardless of their political ideology, side of the aisle, etc. And so, um, you know, watching him have to struggle. And he's trying to, he's trying, and I think with some effect, to turn this around into like, media's media out story. to get me story running ads, I think, even going hard against CNN, et cetera, I actually think for a lot of people that will probably be effective. I think it will, too. It all comes down to the indictment. Is he going to get indicted or not if a grand jury has been convened? That's apparently with Mr. Greenberg. Greenberg is apparently cooperating there with the feds, which would be a big problem for him. So we'll see how it works out. Tomorrow on Rising, we got all-star panelists Rachel Bovar, Jennifer Holdsworth, Carp, Roger Fisk, and Marshall Koslov all joining us for Team Rising. And our colleague Reed Wilson on California Governor Gavin Newsom's recall election, why Caitlyn Jenner may want that job. Plus, founder of The Daily Poster, our friend Davis Rota, he returns, you don't want to miss that. Remember to hit the subscribe button, don't miss any of our videos, don't forget to like and share as well, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one, guys.